In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull the main board on your Bagheera V22 in order to get at the uh, effect card. And in the next video, I'll show you how to modify the effect card so you can use the Spring Reverb program rather than the stock small hall. Before we go anywhere, though, a word of caution. Tube amps kill. There are a lot of volts in these things, uh, enough volts that if you have one run longitudinally across your body, it will stop your heart dead and uh, will kill you. If you happen to just accidentally nudge something rather than having it go across your heart and kill you, it will burn your hands permanently and leave ugly scars. If you happen to touch something and you're lucky, it will just hurt like hell. So. If you don't know proper safety procedures inside a tube amplifier, spend some time researching that before you even think about going inside this amp. Um, here you can see my setup. I've got a protective plastic shield over most of the board here. Um, that is because I'm really only working on this section here. That minimizes the risk that I'll accidentally touch something nasty but it certainly doesn't remove the risk. Uh, you have to respect this stuff, otherwise it'll kill you. Okay, enough of the scare story. How to pull the board. Uh, let's see, let's work from left to right. Front panel, the plastic jacks uh, want to be the nuts on them. You'll want to loosen those. And I've, I've had these loosened, which is why I'm able to do them just by using my fingers. But you'll want to use a, a proper tool and it's soft plastic. So uh, um, use tape or something to protect those uh, so they don't um, get marked. Also, uh, use tape or something so your uh, panel doesn't get marked or scratched. The knobs are simply pull-on, pull-off affairs. First time you pull them off can be a little scary. They might be a little snug. But once you develop that knack, they're easy to pull. And again, we've got some nuts here. These are metal this time, but again, you don't want to be scratching stuff needlessly. So take care in removing those. You'll want to remove the nuts on all these controls, all the way from clean down to reverb. As far as the pilot light, the um, standby switch and power, those stay. You don't need to do anything with those. So what needs to come off the front panel? Normal through reverb. Once you get all those off, I'm going to open this up for you. Now this thing has been cold for a long time, so I know it's safe to handle on the inside. That is what you're going to see. So this is your main board from here, uh, basically like that. That needs to come out. Um, to get that out, there are a number of screws. I'll use a pointer to do this right. Like that one. And then a number that I've had removed as well. The screws that you see that have the white circle around them are the ones you want to remove. So there's a bunch of them. There's like one there, one there. Um, there's several. Just remove all of them and save them. Put them someplace safe. Now, your board might look a little bit different than mine. I've done a number of modifications to my board already. So if yours doesn't look exactly like this, uh, don't, don't sweat it. But I think the, uh, the rule about just removing all the uh, screws with uh, white circles around them will be valid. Screws you don't want to remove right now are in this area right here. There's a screw right there. Now, I've removed that. Uh, but don't do not do as I've done. And there's a screw right there. This is my adapter for you working on the reverb board on the uh, top side so I can use the amp and fiddle with the reverb board. But this screw right here and that screw right there, those actually hold down the uh, reverb board. So leave those in place for now. Now once you've gotten all those out, oh, the fun begins. So here I've uh, rotated the amp 180 degrees so that I am accessing it from the back. In other words, I'm uh, looking at the back panel. Um, 
When you try to pull the board, you're going to find a couple of places where it's going to want to bind. One is right there. That's the bias pot, and it sticks through a hole in the chassis. It'll um, want to bind on that hole opening. Um, also, a lot of the routing is fairly snug and stiff, so it's going to want to bind there as well. Speaking of lead routing, you're going to want to keep track of where things are, so go slowly and take note of um, how the various uh, cables coming off the computer, uh, the uh, <laughs> computer, right, uh, amp are uh, routed uh, because you're going to have to recreate that when you actually pull it. Now, let's see, using one hand, if I'm actually able to work this board out. What I generally do is pull up and then back and uh, that'll get the pots to clear the front if you do it slowly enough there we go okay liberated we are now liberated um, and it will be a little stubborn but that is now a liberated main board so I've uh, Turn the amp around again, looking at it from the front. There's our main board. There's the chassis. What you want to do now is just lift up here and take a look at the cable routing. In fact, take pictures. Take a lot of pictures to make sure that when you put this thing back together, things go where they're supposed to go. Of particular note is that mounting post right there. That cable, it's a piece of shielded cable, it heads off to the effect send and return. Um, it wraps around that post, at least that's the way the builder of this amp did it, and that does a really good job of keeping that particular cable um, out of the way of tubes and other things when it all goes together. All right, so once you've taken note of how things are, what you want to do is remove the screw that'll be right there, and the screw that'll be right there, pardon me, right there and right there. That will liberate the effect board, which you will then be able to remove from its nest right there. So you'll just, after removing the screws, you'll just be able to pull the board right out. And if you want to know what the board looks like, at least what you'll see, you will see something that looks a lot like this when it's plugged in. Minus a couple of modifications that I've made to the board, which I will show you next episode.